All right, guys, in this one, what I want to do is find the internal volume at a certain height. So I created a plane here in this tank for this tank. And uh, I've also created another plane to cap off one of the ends here. So what I need to do is, you know, essentially make it kind of like watertight so they can get the internal volume. And you can do that with uh, planes, surfaces, solid bodies, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, the feature we're going to use is called intersect. So we have intersect here. Um, I'm going to select those planes that I created. So uh, here's the one for the height of the fluid. This one is going to be just the one that's capping off that bottom side that was open. Um, and, you know, you could create all of these other caps too. Like I said, you could use a surface, a solid body, or a plane. And uh, then we're also going to need our solid here. And all I need to do is click on intersect. And by default, all you do with the intersect tool is just start dismissing bodies that you don't want. So the external cap, the internal volume above that water line, um, the external surface here, and then I actually have the volume that I want. Right. And then we could just use our evaluate and our measure tool. Oops, mass properties. <laughs> and we could just click on that and we could find our volume. Okay. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, this is something, of course, you could use. You can't really use it at the assembly level, but you can use a join feature to combine all your parts into a single body. If you guys want, are interested in that, uh, let me know. We'll talk about that later. All right. Bye.